got it. Oh God. Yep. Guys got a big one on. Got a good one on. Oh, Jesus. Big one, guys. Oh, there he is. What's up everyone? Welcome to Max Streamer Fishing Outdoors. Today we're going to have a great, hopefully a great show for you. Jeff the Fish Whisperer is meeting me here. We're at the mighty Roanoke River. Right down there is where I caught that nice striper this spring. I'll post a link to that right there. Um, we're going to float. We're going to go up about four or five miles, put in and float down. Obviously, we're not going to run that rapid. We've run that rapid before canoes and done fine, but we're not going to run that rapid with $1,000 worth of gear in a canoe. Uh, but anyway, we take out on them rocks over there. But we're hopefully going to catch a few stripers. Hopefully going to catch a lot of nice bass. I'm going to pan fish some with a little bitty rapala. There's striped bass, largemouth, Alabama spotted bass in here, walleye, brim, you name it. There's world record catfish in here. Um, everything's in here. Now, one thing I want to say is we're not, I'm not, I hope to catch a couple of stripers and that's it. I don't want to target them. Um, I hope I catch a couple early while it's still cool. Get them back in the water quick because if you target these stripers and you can catch 20 or 30 or more right now, they're here all year, a few are. If you target them and catch a bunch, you're gonna kill a bunch. I use at least 17 pound line. Get them in quick, get them out. If you use less than 17 pound line and you fiddle with them taking a picture or whatever, and you take your time, they're gonna die. So anyway, I hope I'll catch a few, but I'm not gonna target them. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna target bass. At least I'm gonna target bass, everything else. It's gonna be an awesome trip. Let's get busy. Let's hit the water. Okay, everyone, we're at the river. Jeff's piling upstream. I'm probably gonna go follow him, get above the bridge, catch a while, catch some fish, then we're gonna float down four or five miles back to the ramp. Hopefully, it's gonna be good. Let's get busy. Let's catch some fish. Woo! I'm gonna show Jeff how it's done. You hear that, Jeff? I'm going to show Steve how it's done too. You hear that, Steve? Water as clear as it can be. Jeff's got one on back there. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Woo. Fish on. Woo. Got him. Got him. Woo. 
Got two more in. Come on. Guys, you gotta get these in and out quick. That's probably four or five pounds right there. We're getting him back in. Yeah. He's good. Okay, we're gonna paddle on the bottom of these bridge pylons. He just cast up to the bottom of these bridge pylons with the fluke. Gotta fix the fluke. This is deeper right here than what's upstream. It's real shallow just above this. Right there. Uh. Oh, there's several with it. Yeah, there's several following it. Missed him. He hit it right under the pilings. There he is. There he is. Eat your heart out, Steve. Good one, guys. Oh, yeah. Good one, guys. Oh. Alright, get your heart out, 
Hey guys, this came floating by. I'm telling you, I've caught six or seven of these. If you don't use at least 17 pound line and get them back in quick. Now a few of mine may die, but I doubt it. I get them, as soon as I get them out, I may hold them for three or four seconds, chunk them in the water. If you hold them too long, take pictures, that's what's gonna happen, a dead fish. We seen two of these float by. Guys, you gotta know how to do it. I'm just telling you. So probably every striver they caught this morning is gonna be dead. Use at least 17 pound line. You gotta horse them in. Can't play with them. Can't have fun playing with them. You gotta horse them in. That, that, that outfit I'm using is 30 pound braid with a 17 pound fluorocarbon leader. I get them in quick as I can, grab them, hold them up to the camera, chunk them in. If you don't do that, you're killing them, guys. Hey guys, this is the hot water outlet from the paper mill. Even it's 90 degrees out here and there's steam coming off the water. Wow, this water's like bathtub water. It's like bathtub water. Oh, it's hot. Oh man, it's hot. Look at this. That's almost too hot to put my hand in. Got one on. Got one on, guys. Oh, that's a good one. Plumper plumper fish. Plumper plumper fish. That's a nice one. That's a good dark bass right there. Huh. Let's take a picture of him. All right, guys, let's get him back in the water. He's good. Big one, guys, hit right at the boat. Big bass. He's not bad. He's hooked good, hopefully. Don't jump again. Yeah, that's a nice one. Must be about three, three and a half. Three. Yeah. Good fish. Yeah. Nice looking bass. The water. Nice bass. Dude, let's get an underwater release on him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Got it on hooks. 
Good fish right there, guys. Good fish right there, guys. I want to jump right there. Let's see. Big fish. Big fish. Uh, didn't have the head camera on, guys. Jumped about three times. Woo! Another one, guys. Didn't have that camera on. He's a decent bass. Let's get a release on him. Hey guys, I just want to give you a little update. Um, we're probably a mile, mile and a half down from where we put in. I probably caught five bass, two small ones, probably one, three, three and a half pounds, maybe one pushing three. I had a huge blow up on one. Caught a two pounder, maybe caught six bass. Now I caught some decent bass. But anyway, I just floated over a huge school of carp. I mean, it just, they kept coming. They kept coming. Must have been 50 of them, probably 15 to 20 pounds. I may have to come here carp fishing. Um, I've seen big ones here. Not a lot, but I've seen them. So I'm going to mark that spot. Um, but anyway, let's get busy. Let's go see if we can catch some more fish. Here we go. Oh, that's a bass. Bass. Little guy on the flute. Keep him back. He's good. Fish on. Fish on. I'm hooked. Where's your camera? I got some hooks. I got you now. Ooh, that'd have been painful. Little guy. He's good. Let's get another one. Look at guys. Got some, I don't know what they are, but I just had three hits. I really don't. There he goes. Oh, I had him. Dang, I'm gonna have him. Had him. See if there's more down there.
There he goes. Right there at the boat. Right at the boat. Woo! Right at the boat. He nailed it. Right at the boat, guys. Gotta love that. I'm gonna let him go. He's good. There he is. Fish on. Oh, God. This hook. Oh, he was just hooking a gill plate. It come off. There went one right there. Got one on the next cast. <laughs> oh. Fish guys. Oh, right there. Oh, bow fin. Gotta be a bow fin. Something. I look like a boat fin to me. It's a boat fin. Guys, big boat fin on a flubber flubber. He's mad. He's mad. Okay. Striper, bowfin, and bass so far. There he goes, guys. Right there. It's probably about four pounds. Good fight. Slimy little sucker. All right, let's get back and see if we can catch up with Jeff. Lost one. What'd you catch him on? Plopper putting a hurting on him. They went a big gar. Oh, reels it? We don't throw them back yet. Jeff's got a big one on. Is the other one still with them? Right there? Ooh, that's nice. 
Yep, yeah, that is the best one. Except for my striper. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice one. Let me get this other one. Don't let them go. Oh, let's hold my, my camera, see? Mm -hmm. What oh, did he hit, wobber blobber? Yeah. Right. You got your camera? Yeah, it's on, it's on. Oh. In it on. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Wobber plopper, that's a nice bass. That is the biggest one of the day. That is a sweet fish, man. That's a good one. Nice bass. Nice bass, guys. Nice bass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice jump. That's bigger than Jess. <laughs> no, he's not close, but he's a good bass. Good bass. You take him. Nice bass. Win. Didn't know it had gar in it up about high. There's another one. Little one. He tried to jump. Okay, he's good. Let's see if I can get three out of that hole. There he goes. Ah! Ah! Monster. Yep, that's a spot. Guys, there's a little Alabama spot. Just caught on a fluke. You caught one too, right? Yeah. There go. Not a good sign. guys we've had we're well, we probably halfway through three quarters of the way through maybe had a good day Jeff's caught one really nice bass good day really good day it's hot but the water's cool I'm using these now I mean now you see it. Jeff's got a nice fish on face socks hand gloves 
at my age, keep cancer off your hands. I'm also using these sink way. I don't know if you see these. I love them in the canoe on the river bottom. I've been using those for several trips now. There's going to be a link. I'll put it right there. It's called Mac 20 Off. Hope I got that right. But it should be Mac 20 off. You can get 20% off of those. I'll put a link in the description. Pretty awesome shoes. I don't know how they're going to work in mud down at the beach, but in the river, Rocky River canoe, I'm telling you, they're doing great. Um, but check out my link I got for it, Mac 20 off, and you get 20% off of them. Let's get back fishing. Got one on, guys. Oh, God, that was a big one. Ah. Ah, that was a five pounder. Yeah, whatever. Ah, dang guys, that was a big one. He ain't gonna hit again. Dang. Yep. Well, guys, I missed a bit. I lost a big one of the day. There he goes. Got another one. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Redemption. He's not as big as the other one, but. There we go. He's still not as big as the other one, but oh well. There we go. He's still not as big as the other one, but oh well. Not bad. Get him back in the water. He's good. Oh, Jesus. Go right at the boat. Big one. Huge gar. Guys, I hung a big guard right at the boat. I mean, he hit it like right beside the boat. Good gosh. <laughs> Big fish, guys. Now I'm going to get him done. Yes, Bray. OK, 
The guys there, guys there he is. Jeff don't got the big one no more. Right there. Now I gotta get him unhooked. Get your heart out, Steve. Hey guys, I have an exciting big gar. He hit it. I'm serious. I could have touched him beside the boat where he hit it. I pulled the whopper popper up to the canoe and stopped it for a second. Just looking probably where I was going to cast next. And he hit it right there where I could have grabbed him with the whopper popper out of the water. He was hooked good too. All right, let me pull up my drag chain. Wind is actually killing us going up the river. When we went down that little channel, it wasn't any wind coming out that little channel, but here out on one of the main channels, it's pretty bad. Got it. Oh, God. Yep. Guys got a big one on. Got a good one on. Oh, Jesus. Big one, guys. Don't come off. Oh, he's not hooked good. The hook come out of the mouth. It was in the mouth. It come out of the mouth and it's in his back. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Got him. Guys, that's a nice one. I don't think he's quite as big as the one I lost, but that's a nice one. Whopper plopper. Get your heart out, Steve. Nice fish. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go. He's good. Woo! Wow, guys, that was a great float trip with Jeff. Covered about five miles of water. Awesome trip in the Old Town 119s. Like I said, both of us had Old Town 119s. I couldn't show, and thank you. Let me back up a minute. Thank you if you stay with this video this long. This is about a 39, 40 minute long video. I don't normally like to do them that long, but thank you if you stuck it out to the end. I appreciate it. Great trip. Caught most of the fish. It may be half and half what I show in the video between the whopper plopper and the fluke. But I actually caught most of the fish on Whopper Plopper. The 120 size. See if that focuses. The 120 size, I'm throwing on the loose with 50 pound braid. Love that outfit. Um, the spinning reel, I'm throwing 30 pound braid with a 17 pound fluorocarbon leader. 5 volt EWG hook. Tell you, awesome day in the water. We each caught 40 or more bass, 9, 10, 11 stripers a piece. I caught one big gar, one good bowfin. Um, I even caught the one, you know, I couldn't show all these fish or it'd be an hour, hour and 20 minute video where I had to make several long videos. 
Like I said, I caught most of the bass on the Whopper Plopper, the 120. I do like the 130. I don't like the smaller size ones. I don't. I think they turn over sometimes, roll. Um, but anyway, I caught some fish on the Whopper Plopper that weren't much bigger than a Whopper Plopper. I mean, small ones were hitting it, big ones were hitting it. It was just a good day on the water. Guys, check the description out. I've got links to a lot of the stuff I used in it. Do me a favor, it helps me, helps me make more videos. Uh, do me a favor, and also, this trip, I have two videos I made. I posted that in a link or title there in the video. There's a trip on where I stopped at one spot and I caught five fish, four bass, I think, and one red breast out of one spot waiting. Then there's another video showing the obstacles in this river where we went through three or four down trees anyway i'll post them up here somewhere do me a favor hit the subscribe button it's going to be right there and guys i appreciate it um can't thank you enough and i'll see you next time make sure you leave some comments thank you